So you want a sweet fan like this operating in your facility? If you call in and you say, hey, I want a big fan, I want a sweet fan, we can't quote it for you. There's a couple of pieces of information that are critical to us fan application guys that we need to get from you. We're gonna talk about that as this fan is, serves as our backdrop. Number one, everybody wants to move a certain volumetric flow with their fan. But if all you tell me is I want 10,000 CFM and you leave the rest out, this fan could do 10,000 CFM and a fan about this size could do 10,000 CFM. A lot of that depends on what your static pressure drop is, what the size of the fan is. So we need to know your volumetric flow requirement, your static pressure drop calculation. What's the static pressure drop? It's the outlet static pressure minus the inlet static pressure. It's a measurement of the resistance that each side must push through in order to generate the volumetric flow that you asked for. The third piece of information we need to calculate is inlet density. That most commonly comes from you telling us what the inlet temperature is of your application. Also the elevation in which your application is installed. And then the last piece of information that's pretty vital to us is what is the duty that your fan will be handling? Will this be moving clean air? Will it be saturated gas? Will it be dirty? Will it be material that the fan is putting through? So four pieces of information to recap. Volumetric flow, static pressure loss, inlet density based on temperature and elevation, and the duty of the gas that the fan is moving.